The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Um, okay, folks, we're going to have John Hill. Uh, he's going. He was my mentor. Met him in 1970. He's going to be 90 in a few weeks, and he's going to be our guest in about 20 minutes. So we'll be we'll be talking with him uh, first. Well, I have to tell you one of my favorite stories of, with John, and I have many of them. It was about 12 years ago in New York at the Money Show convention. Uh, they had asked John and I and several other people if we would trade live. And so we started, we had about 200 people in the room, and uh, we started real early in the morning. It was around, oh, I th this was be long before we had this pre-market stuff. So it was about 8 o'clock uh, New York time, which was pretty early. And we started out, and um, John started out with a couple of, I think, three losses in a row. And then uh, I started out with a couple losses in a row, so we were down 0 for 5, and John looked at me and he said, well, the good part is we're going to be able to go to Canners for breakfast because there's going to be nobody in the room here in a little bit. And um, believe it or not, what happened was the most amazing thing, which is typical of, of trading, and that is people went out into the aisle. And where the people were mingling around, and they said, "You got to come in and see these two guys, these two professionals. They're losing their butts. Come on in and look." And within about five minutes, well, maybe 15 minutes, the uh, fire marshal had to come in because we had about 50 people overloaded in the room. And as luck would have it, uh, we we turned it around, and we ended up uh, hitting oh, six or seven of them in a row. With, with several several of them were really big winners. But uh, the way this the crowd responded to that was was really funny so we'll see the first chart that we're looking at here is the gold chart we've been looking at this now for several months we've been waiting for this rally if you'll notice we have an ABCD structure uh, that we've talked about several times and that structure is uh, absolutely perfect we had two fifty five dollar rallies uh, they measure exactly to where they should be and uh, I'm going to show it to you on a little bit uh, just blow it up uh, from a uh, shorter time frame over the last several days so you can see when we got up to that 1128 uh, we haven't been any, any lower than 1117 on the way down but um, the thing that was interesting last night was silver uh, we had talked about silver with the problems it was going to have up around the 1455 level and we hit uh, 1458 I believe was the high in silver and last night silver dropped 40 cents an ounce in a matter of about five minutes, and I'm not kidding you, within five minutes later, it was had already rallied 30 cents. So uh, it came back very, very strong. So, uh, you know, it, it was a, a function of the, the market being very, very thin in silver for one thing at that time of the morning. Uh, it was about um, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, New York time. I didn't see it, of course, until much later. But uh, the market did come back very, very quick. So I assumed that was just a lack of liquidity and someone having stops in with uh, getting some terrible fills, you know, would be my guess. But we'll have to, you know, let us see if that's going uh, to be the case. Because that could have some really bullish implications uh, for this, because if we can clear that 11, that 1128, 1130 level now in the gold uh, and, and above 1460 uh, in the silver, that would really be a, a good sign that things could be uh, moving. Platinum did not back off at all. And uh, so we'll wait and see, you know, what happens with this uh, over the period uh, that we're looking at it in the stock market. Uh, we've had some very bearish news come out today with the uh, GDP number coming in at uh, down 5%. Uh, ordinarily, that would put the Dow down about 250 to 300, I would think. But it's actually holding relatively well right now. So we'll see if that's going to, uh, you know, if that's going to be the, the case with the stocks. But we'll, we'll watch it uh, 
uh, very, very closely. Uh, yesterday, we were looking to buy Apple at that uh, uh, 95, uh, 50 level. Uh, we got down to a 93, 80. Uh, and if we get below 93, 50, I will have to assume that that uh, is not going to work. Uh, in fact, it's already not working because it's down a dollar from from a dollar and a half from where uh, where we bought it. But um, that's a pattern that you have to do. I mean, everything was lined up. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, just because it didn't work, it's not a big deal. The real key today, uh, watching some of these markets, is in the bond market. Because uh, the bond market has just completed a, a really strong ABCD pattern up around the um, 106 level. And we'll see uh, what happens uh, with that, and we'll we'll see what uh, see what's going on, you know, with that um, over a period of. Uh, let me see if I can bring this up and show you what it looks like because it is a very nice, uh, very nice pattern. Uh, I don't have it here right in front of me right now, but I will find it somewhere. Well, where is it? I have too many things to show you. Uh, we have a, a request uh, on one particular stock that I wanted to uh, bring to your attention. And if you'll give me a second here, it is, hold on, I've got it here somewhere. Nope, that's not it. Oh, one other uh, moment uh, as far as programming. Uh, we're going to have Rich Anderson on the on the uh, show next Wednesday. He'll finally be settled down in warm weather, so we'll be able to uh, chat with him and uh, we'll, about the grain markets and stuff because they backed off a little bit also. The crude oil market was one of the questions that someone has asked me, and it looks to me like the crude oil wants to get up uh, to the area of um, – the 36 and a half that would be a 61 percent retracement off that last high we made back at uh, 3890 and so that's a really good chance of uh, you know what's going uh, to happen you know with uh, the things that we're watching here uh, uh, early this morning and uh, the main thing is you know you got to keep a really close eye here on the gold folks because the uh, the silver market uh, as I mentioned before, uh, and, and I'll, I'll bring it up again because this still is, to me, is as important is on this daily chart, the uh, the doggone silver has not gotten above the 382 uh, retracement of the high we made back in October. And remember, we're at a 61% retracement uh, in the uh, in the gold, uh, or excuse me, 50% retracement in the gold, but silver is uh, by far you know the the weakest of the of the one and of course platinum has made a a 78 percent retracement of the high from uh december that is it hasn't even taken out the december high so there's still some you know selling in all the commodities that wheat corn beans are still down uh oil has rallied a little bit gasoline of course and and heating oil but very very marginally so things are still uh, in the down in the down move of this so we want to watch that with a little bit of anticipation too <clears throat> the um I'm trying to find the stock that the person asked me about it and if I can just find it I know where it is this is uh with a little bit of luck I can maybe ah that's the Australian dollar but that's not it that was for something else oh dear this if, they, if this type were a little bit bigger I would be able to see it better but unfortunately I can't let's just take a quick look here at uh what's going on here with the stock market and I uh, just want to show you the Dow E-mini because we've had some big swings in this. Uh, as you can see, uh, yesterday we went up and we took out the highs of the previous day from January 26th. That was a 61% retracement of the high from the previous week. And it was also a 38% retracement from the high of January 4th, 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
that has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. And I don't know what happened while we were gone, but the bonds dropped a full handle uh, from that area we were looking at at 160.20. They're now trading at 115.17, and the stock market's had a huge rally in face of that negative news. But let's forget about that. Let's go to something really important. We have a very special guest today. It's my good friend and mentor. Uh, from 1970 when I met him up in San Francisco at a cycles conference, John Hill from Futures Truth. John, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here. Well, it's an honor to have you, my friend. And uh, the first question that we're getting from uh, folks that have uh, sent me some questions is, uh, how did you get started uh, uh, trading? I know you bought the house with a soybean trade, but why don't you give them an idea, tell them what, how you got started doing this? Because you're a, a chemical engineer by trade, aren't you, John? Yeah, a terrible thing happened to me that 60 years ago. Uh, I had a white blue kit, the big house mortgage, and a thousand dollars. And I was buying and selling a few shares of stock. And one day somebody said, "Futures five percent leverage." Uh, so I said, "I want a piece of that." Engineers have a little bit of an inflated ego. And I was no different at that stage of my life. So anyway, I ran that thousand dollars up to uh, seventy-five thousand dollars in three months. Oh my! Uh, not really knowing what I was doing, uh, but I was pyramiding. And anyway, that brand a pretty good engineer. Uh, so in and I began, <laughs> and eventually I turned to this business because it's much more fun, much more profitable, uh, and it's been good to me through the years. Is that enough of an introduction, Larry? 
Yeah, that's that's great, John. Most people know who you are, John. You've written a couple, of several books, but the, one of my favorites is that little white book, uh, the Commodity Trend Analysis book from 1966. Do you still have that available for folks? Oh, I've got all of my original writing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's really a fabulous book, and then also your book uh, that you I think you published it uh, through um, uh, through Wiley, the hardcover book that is so good. Um, um, I can't remember the, the name of it. It's, the Ultimate Trading Guide. Yeah, the Ultimate Trading Guide. Yeah, that's another good one. And tell the folks uh, how if you know you're at uh, eight, it's uh, futures truth at aol dot com, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, what are you, what are you doing at Futures Truth? Uh, F, F, F Truth at AOL. F oh, truth. That's my email. Okay. Futures Truth. Yeah, that's. Um, are you still? That company got started because there was so much garbage out there. <laughs> uh, and one day a fellow copied a couple of pages out of my book and claims it's the best thing he ever developed. But they really, that was the beginning of Futures Truth. Yeah. Where I started tracking all these publicly offered trading systems. Mm hmm. Are you still doing and that? I, pardon? You're, are you still doing that? Oh, yes. Yes. I've been in, I've sat down in New York courtrooms with uh, people I'm assuming with two, uh, with two or three lawyers and me on the other side of the table. I didn't have a lawyer. And I said, you show me one number in my report that's incorrect and I'll correct it. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> anyway, that's been a very rewarding career. I hadn't made a lot of money, but I've had a lot of fun doing it. Showing the truth on these uh, dead rich quick schemes. That's for sure. Now, all three of your children are in the business, too, aren't they? Holly, John, and Lundy? Yeah. Well, that, that's got to be a tribute to you, John, to have your children in the business because it's a, a real wonderful thing to, to see that. You've been a, instrumental to me through the years. But, uh, uh, John, do you still have that, uh, that oil painting with all the patterns on it? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still have mine in the office, too. Uh, folks, uh, John uh, introduced me to patterns uh, 55 years ago. Well, 45 years ago, back in 1970. And uh, from his little book, uh, he, he would show up thrust reversals, the 98% rule, which is uh, pretty much the two black crows and things like that. But those little patterns still work to this day, John. I, I watch them, and every time I see one, I think of you. And, uh, you know, you've been really instrumental, you know, showing folks about this. And, folks, if you really want a couple of great books on uh, commodity trading and patterns and stuff, John has them. So be sure to uh, try to get in touch with him if you, if you would like to. But uh, you've certainly been a great uh, inspiration to everybody. John, uh, one of the questions that we have here uh, comes from someone who's relatively new in the business, and they say, how would you, what's the best way to get started, you know, learning to do some of this? What, what, what would you tell them? Oh, I would tell them, uh, don't make a trade, a paper trade for at least three months. If you can't make my money, Paper trading, you'll never, never make money trading for real. Uh, the difference is when you're trading for real, your emotions are on the line. So um, that that would be my recommendation. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. As far as, um, you know, we've had a lot of situations here over the past few years about uh, brokerage companies, uh, you know, uh, MF Global and uh, PFG Best with Russ, uh, with Russ Stottlemyre and stuff. Um, uh, what, what Russ Was Wassendorf, sorry. Uh, do you have any any feelings on on the brokerage business on on whether there's any safety there? That's one of the questions that someone's asked us this morning. Oh, well, I personally use interactive brokers. They're well, the think, biggest in the business, and I'm utterly convinced they're safe. That's uh, really but, good. You know, uh, don't take my word for it. Do your own homework. But, uh, oh, and we use, uh, 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 hang on, George, come here a second. Uh, we use a couple of other 
brokerage companies. What well, other brokerage companies do we use? Uh, we use R.J. O'Brien and R.C.G. Uh, we think they're both great companies. Well, RCG, I know them personally because I, I knew Les Rosenthal when I traded on the, the floor of the exchange. Uh, years ago, folks, uh, when I traded in Chicago, I would drive down to Hendersonville, North Carolina, down at Casa de Hill, and um, see uh, old Bessie out in the, uh, one of his cows out there. And John had this uh, doggone uh, cowbell, and every time he had a winning trade, he would ring this cowbell. You still have that cowbell, John? <laughs> <laughs> and like to drive everybody crazy because he was uh, really ringing the bell during those days. And I remember when Lundy took my sports car that time and uh, when he was just 16 years old and went out for a drive and stuff. That was a lot of fun through those years. So uh, well, I'm glad you're you're going to be 90 uh, next month, aren't you, John? Right, so. Well, hey, listen. But, where yeah. else? Where else and can you get this handy job and at 90? Still enjoying every day. Yeah. And every hey John, day is an adventure. John, stay with I'm us. Bill. We'll have you on after the break. Hold on with us. We've got to pay a few bills, okay? All right. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. OK, 
Okay, we're back, folks, and we have John Hill from Futures Truth out of Hendersonville, North Carolina. Uh, John, uh, back in 1980, when I came down uh, for one of our visits, um, we were uh, talking about the uh, opening price, uh, doing some work from what Jim Sibbett and Earl Hannity had done. And uh, why don't you tell the folks the story, uh, uh, the whole story about the opening price and Toby Crable, because uh, a lot of people don't really understand what's really happened over the years. So could you give us a little review of that? Yeah. Uh, it, the opening range breakout was uh, was very, very effective. Uh, I think we were the first line to come up with a mechanical, actual trading deal, uh, and it worked very well, still works somewhat today, <clears throat> but uh, I, made, I made the mistake of telling a very prominent uh, system salesman that it was the opening, not the close. People were working on how much it moved off the prior day's close. Anyway, this became very public. Uh, this particular vendor uh, publicized the opening range breakout, and it, it had lost its effectiveness through the years uh, because it's been so widely publicized. The other reason it does not uh, work nearly as good is because you now have 24-hour markets, uh, which dampens that uh, uh, deal. It's, it is a useful tool, but it has to be used in conjunction with other indicators. Sure. You know, people don't realize, John, when we were first started trading, you know, back in the 60s, that we had to have a ticker tape in our room, you know, with a, with a tape going, with a, a tape, with a paper tape going into the, the wicker basket. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now we have all this. Absolutely. Yeah, now that's, we... how, that's how my kids got indoctrinated in the business. When they were in high school, they had to read the ticker tape and mark down the prices. Yeah, that's that's the only way you could get that's the only way you could get interday charts was to do that. And we used to get our daily charts from uh, Commodity Perspective every Saturday by special delivery. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, that's it's, really uh, good. Thing I'd like like to comment on, I think you have an excellent uh, man in Larry. Uh, oh. People are all hung up over exact mechanical systems. Larry has developed a methodology using Fibonacci ratios. If you don't know who Fibonacci was, he uh, look him up. Very famous mathematician back in the 1500s. Uh, and I'd say a lot of people use Fibonacci very exclusively, and there are quite a few people out there. The, the thing I like that emphasize any potential investor be wary of these exact mechanical systems. I, I still think the best way to trade is is uh, using judgment. And, and Larry comes up with these Fibonacci points, uh, which he publishes every day, and these are action points, uh, potential action points. Uh, but the, the other factor is you've got the, the biggest, biggest obstacle any of you will have is controlling your risk. And the, the way to do that is you can act on these Fibonacci points, but if they don't work, uh, what, what I do uh, is, is I'll sell puts or calls against my futures. And to me, the option market is one of the best ways to limit your risk. Anyway, what else, Larry? That's it, John. I mean, um, those were the main questions that we had. 
Um, uh, we've had some people have already said they've already ordered your book, so that's a good idea. At least you didn't work for nothing today. That's a good spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> we've done, yeah, we've the done South that Asian Army uh, said they were going to quit feeding. Yeah, I told uh, I told the folks uh, before you came on the story when we were in New York uh, about 10, 12 years ago. We were doing that live trading. We started out so badly, and uh, you looked at me and said, well, the good part is we're going to be able to uh, go to breakfast real early. And then uh, the people went out and told, hey, these guys are losing money. you got to come in and look at them. And pretty soon the fire marshal had to stop people. That was a, And we got lucky after that and made some pretty good money. But uh, we've had some wonderful <laughs> times through the years. I wish we could do it again, yeah. but they don't do these shows like they used to anymore. So, no. uh, John, would it be okay if we have you on again, uh, say, in a couple of months? Oh, I'd be very honored. Okay, now if the folks want to reach you, uh, tell tell us the best way uh, your website uh, where that's probably the best way and your your email address if people want to reach you directly. My email address is f as in futures f truth at aol dot com, and uh, look at uh, look us look us up on the website futures truth. Uh, we we publish a, a publication every couple of months, which shows the performance of publicly offered trading systems. Uh, so, love to hear from you. You bet, George. In North Carolina, come see me. I will listen. Give a snowstorm uh, outside. Yeah. You bet. Hey, listen. How how bad is the snow today? Oh, it's not snowing today. We had we had a, at least a foot of snow uh, three days ago. Wow, that's uh, that's a lot. Well, listen, give my regards to the kids and also to George, and we'll have you on in another uh, another month or so. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it, Larry. You bet, buddy. You take it easy. Thanks, John. All right. You bet. That was John Hill of Futures Truth of Hendersonville, North Carolina, my mentor from uh, 1970. We met at a cycles conference for Cyclotech, which was uh, the work of James Hurst. Boy, there were a lot of people there. Peter Lides was there, Larry Williams. Oh, my gosh. Uh, PQ Wall. Boy, there were a lot of people there uh, at that time. But I highly recommend his little book on commodities and also his ultimate guide to trading is very good. But uh, he's exposed a lot of people in the business that... Uh, years ago that were quite unscrupulous and uh, some of these trading systems that come out uh, are not nearly as good as they're purported to be and that's what true features truth does is to look at that he's been a expert witness on many cases uh, and stuff so that's main thing while we were gone folks we had a lot of things happening uh, we talked about that uh, Fibonacci number at thirty six dollars an ounce <laughs> let's try it again thirty six dollars a barrel in the crude oil we hit that um, we uh, also we've had some bearish news in stocks uh, with the uh, GDP number and uh, the market has rallied uh, 30 S&P points uh, from that level it took that bad news uh, pretty well and the bonds have dropped uh, uh, one and a half handles so we'll take a little break here 877-927-6648 Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. 
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the Treasury bonds that uh, we were talking about. Um, as you can see, we had uh, several different patterns on this hourly chart on bonds. We had a beautiful uh, one, three, five patterns where you have the lower tops that we like. That's the pattern from uh, Roy Longstreet. Uh, and then you made a beautiful Gartley pattern on that pull off, on the pullback, as you can see uh, by the little colored triangles that we have here. And everything we're looking at is, you know, basically triangles. We made a beautiful 61% retracement down there at 159, and then we rallied up to point D, and the, that's at 160.20, and the high on bonds was 160.21. So. Uh, and after that, it broke one and a half points, fifteen hundred dollars, uh, all the way down to a seventy-eight percent retracement of that whole move from uh, yesterday uh, to today. So uh, this is what we have going on in bonds now. And unless we clear that one sixty uh, twenty level, it looks like bonds are are going to go lower. Uh, during this time, when we had John on the phone, we had a, a break in gold. Gold got down to the um, uh, ten, uh, let me see, eleven, eleven, twelve area. So we've broken sixteen dollars uh, from the high. And uh, as long as we don't clear that 1128 area, I think we're, we're going to be coming down uh, a little bit uh, in the gold market. So we'll see uh, how this all uh, lines up as we get, uh, get through the time. But we had a huge move in the, the S&P. We went from uh, 1870 all the way up to uh, 1902. We rallied 32 handles. Uh, and, of course, now we're in the midst of uh, solidifying some of this uh, stuff that we have, you know, going on uh, through here. Uh, on, the, on, the, uh, com on the foreign currency, we had some really interesting things happen in foreign currency. We made a beautiful uh, ABCD pattern in the Australian dollar uh, while we were uh, off the air. And we watched the Australian uh, quite a bit. I'll post this. Uh, well, let's do the crude oil one first because that's the one that popped up first. But this is the one we were uh, looking at in crude oil. Uh, we got up to 36.04. The high was 36.08. So we'll see if uh, – th thanks again because I get all these numbers from my, my closest and dearest friend, uh, uh, John Logan. So uh, I appreciate that. All the losing trades are mine. The winning trades are his. We already know that. And so we want to thank him for all of the good work that he does. And he does do a lot of great work. And I hope you folks realize that uh, we are friends and we are just joking. It re we really uh, 
really uh, share a lot of different uh, information. Okay, now the next one we're going to take a look at is the same pattern. It's nothing more than Gartley. That's all it is. And you'll notice that uh, we just hit that uh, number uh, also in the Australian dollar. So we've had several different things happening. We had the euro hit, we've had the Australian dollar hit, and also uh, the Canadian dollar uh, on the downside has made a three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, on And this, remember the Canadian has been coming off quite a bit because of the move in crude oil. Remember the, the loonie, the Canadian dollar currency, is a a correlation of about 95 percent with crude oil. So when crude oil rallies, uh, the Canadian, uh, you know, starts to uh, come down. So that's what's uh, that's what's been happening. So uh, it's been lining up, uh, lining up uh, pretty good. The real interesting thing is I wanted to bring this to uh, your attention because uh, we do a lot of cycle work here, and I wanted to share the work that uh, Shane Smolian has given to us before. And if you'll notice, uh, these are these uh, transits that we look at. And as you know, uh, we started, uh, you know, the bullish move uh, supposedly yesterday, which should take us up into February 10th. Now, folks, if it does that, this is going to give us a whole lot of information going forward. So that's really what you want to uh, be looking at. You know, that's the, the real key to the things that we're that we're watching so, someone's asked me a question uh, about uh, why did John uh, take me uh, as a student uh, as a mentoring you know and, and he never charged me I mean this is going back uh, in 1970s so you're talking uh, 46 years we've been friends but uh, for some reason uh, we sort of got to be buddies and uh, you know we just shared a lot of information through the years and we had a lot of mutual friends through the years and uh, it's just been you know very good he has a tremendous library he's the one that got me started uh, you know collecting the stuff in the library and he has some very very old things that are way out of print stuff from George Cole and folks like that original Wyckoff materials uh, just a, uh, a lot of things that were very helpful in trading and, and a lot of this stuff that we have with, with technical analysis is not any different folks because a bar chart uh, is never going to change. You just have a X and Y axis. It's how many different oscillators you can put on the darn thing to see whether it's going to work or not. And John is a pure technician because he looks at the the prices themselves and uh, pr pretty much what I do. I, I that's he's the reason why I've not used uh, uh, oscillators much through the years. Now, the, the what I do is when I listen to uh, Basil Chapman's show, he's a he's a fantastic at using those. And then we adds it in with his way analysis it adds a great deal and the same thing is what Steve Rhodes does they add these as additives and they're 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 very very helpful I have to uh, you know admit that they really do have some good applicability when you understand uh, how they're how they're working so this is what we're looking at here we've got a chance uh, for a rally here in this bear market and that's what we have uh, going on and the, the sixty four dollar question is you know how much of a of a rally uh, are we going to now two days ago when we were on the air uh, we talked about the banking index and the banking index finally went down and made the uh, ABCD structure at the 1.618 expansion of the low that we made on uh, on September. Uh, that completes that that swing, and now we should get ready for a rally of about two to weeks is what we're looking for. The last rally that we had in September uh, lasted from September into early November, so it lasted six weeks. Whether we're going to get that much this time or not, you know, remains to be seen because the overall structure of the market from a technical basis is uh, just uh, really, really bearish, folks. I mean, it is... Uh, it is flat out, uh, flat out bearish. Um, one other question that someone asked me about: We were talking about the the oil painting that I have in my office, that was done by Elsie Darnell back in 1977 when I was at Drexel. She was a very famous uh, uh, artist, and uh, she. Uh, painted all of these patterns into an oil painting along with uh, it's an interesting painting I will post this 
uh, into the room in the next day or so. I'm getting it off some uh, old computers uh, that I'm uh, redoing. To, well, I'm not redoing it. I'm having a young man come to help me uh, try to put it together. So we'll watch that. But we're in some critical levels here, especially in the metals, folks. Uh, you want to be bullish if the oil can get uh, oil. <laughs> you want to be bullish if that gold can get above the 1130 level. But until that happens, I think you want to wait for a pullback. And we should make, uh, like uh, what John Logan said on his uh, fair value, uh, we're looking at around 1108. And that would be, you know, something, uh, you know, pretty good. You know, we'll see. Anyway, we'll see uh, what happens with that. And we'll, we'll go from uh, we'll go from that premise of when the market does finally back off but at least the ABCD pattern was perfect the fact that the silver has been so very very weak uh, during this because silver should be trading you know somewhere around $16 an ounce and we're at $14 an ounce so there's something wrong there and platinum cannot even take out the highs of the previous uh, of uh, the, the previous, uh, you know, uh, January. They can't even get to that. All it's been able to do is to make a 78% retracement of that. So we'll take a little break here, and we'll be right back. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Um, and I spoke with Rich Anderson this morning, and he's going to be our guest on Wednesday. 
Uh, tomorrow we're going to have uh, Ed Carlson from uh, the Seattle Technicians Association and the MTA, and uh, his specialty, of course, is the work of uh, George Lindsay, uh, the famous uh, market technician of the 1940s and 50s, who Arch Crawford uh, happened to know personally, and we'll have Arch on uh, also, but he's traveling right now. When he gets back, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to have him on. On Tuesday, we're going to have Stan Harley on the on the horn. Uh, he's from the old days at Conti Commodity, uh, an expert in cycles, and you'll enjoy his uh, his work also. These guys have been around forever. That's the real beauty of this business, and what keeps you, you know, keeps you so young is the fact that uh, it's a fun thing. I mean, where else you where else can you be on vacation? You know, 365 days a year when you're doing something that you love, and uh, as much as John likes to play golf. Uh, he mentioned to me once, he said he would rather be trading than to play golf with Arnold Palmer. I think he was kidding about that one. But uh, anyway, it's uh, it's really a, a fun, fun business once you uh, finally do get it right. And believe me, it takes you a long time to get it right sometimes. Remember, the smart man learns from his mistakes. The wise man learns from the mistakes of others. So when people try to give you some ideas of what's going on in the world, uh, you really want to do that. I've had a request. Hopefully, we can we can finish it uh, today to re to talk about those three things that were necessary to uh, to be uh, successful. You know, when you're trading, you, know, you ask the first question: Is is it a valid signal? Yes. And how much do I have to risk to see if I'm right? Whether that's whether whatever that dollar amount happens to be, and if you can accept the risk, number three is if you can accept the risk on that trade, then you must take the trade because you're always dealing in probabilities. That's all you're ever dealing with, and you want to be able, you know, to uh, understand that. You know, that's pretty much what you're what you're looking at. And we got too many comedians here at uh, TFNN, so we want to. Anyway, thank you for listening. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Live every day and an attitude of gratitude. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's